Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody. This is Ben Parks, athlete, coach, creator, one of the biggest runners on YouTube, and possibly one of the most positive too. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's completely every time. I'm like, hello, everybody, welcome. I, I don't always feel like absolutely 100%, but most of the time, I'm just feeling so lucky to do what we do. So I am generally just quite happy and just love being out creating content for people. We covered a lot of ground in our conversation, but we started there with the content behind his success. That joy, it is infectious, you know? Yeah, I mean, nothing is really scripted. Sarah could <laughs> advocate for that. We don't really make any notes. We just do it on the fly, really. Like, how much of it is making what's going on? How much of it is analytics? How much of it, you know, like, what's your process? If, it's, if we're doing tips and tricks and that sort of thing, helping people with their running, we tend to just, in YouTube, it gives you, I don't know if you've seen it, it gives you, like, what people are searching for yeah. on YouTube in your niche, or niche, as you say over here. Um, and so yeah, we use that as a sort of a basis and see what, what people are interested in. Uh, but then a lot of the times we put something on Instagram or and, you know, people are, you know, say, I'd really like a video on this or a video on this. Stuff that comes up in the media that's like uh, current and trending. And then, yeah, so, if, and then if you've got like spring marathons and autumn marathons, in January we'll do some marathon content to get ready, ready for people that. And then in terms of what we do when I'm talking about my journey and stories there, it really is, we wake up in the morning and think, what should we film today? There's not much more to it than that. Where should we go? What, we, we just get in the car, we drive to a park, and we do, and we do a session, we do a run. So uh, talk about your journey then, because how long have you been on YouTube? Um, about three years. Only three years? So it's, yeah, it's relatively new. Well, you've I guess. exploded. I mean, you know, in comparison to a lot of other channels, I mean, you're, you're one of the, the biggest running channels right now. Yeah, there's like myself, um, sort of Seth um, over here, like Mike, and like Sage Candidate. Yeah, they're sort of like in that sort of lucky people that have made it to become a living, you know. So when in your process did you say, hey, something's happening here? You know, like what, what was that um, inflection point? What was that moment when it's like you turn that corner, you're like, oh, wow, this is actually picking up steam? Um, well, I did a video at the London Marathon and that, I wouldn't say it went viral, it didn't go huge by YouTube standards, but it certainly, the market, or the amount of people watching suddenly went from just the UK to worldwide, and I was getting messages coming all in. So that video did about 250,000 views in about sort of the first six months of it. And that Maybe. changed your trajectory? And that changed everything. I know some creators feel this pressure, this sort of this immense pressure to try and keep up and keep, keep the stream of videos and whatnot. I mean, do you feel that or no? I don't really look at it. I don't look at the analytics. You don't? I'm, no. So, I'm just, okay, hold, oh, we'll, okay. oh, we'll look hold at on. So you put out a video. You're like, all right, Brooklyn Half video. You put it out. You don't, like, the next morning, like, wake up and just go. No. Let, let me see. Let me see how many views. Are, let me see. Is it number? Is it one of ten? Is it we'll, ten? We'll look at, we'll look. <laughs> Come on. I upload Come a, on, Ben. I'll upload a video, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll leave it 24 hours. Okay. I'll, well, I'll put it live. It will go live automatically. We'll leave it 24 hours. And then I'll log on and I'll respond to comments. Yeah. And that, I enjoy doing that yeah. because, um, yeah, you can interact with everybody. Um, so I go through all the comments and like reply, heart, like, whatever. And then I'll have a look, see how it's doing out of the 10. Um, and then that's it. I never, and then it just, then we move on to the next one. Um, we don't, I don't look at how many views it's getting or how many likes versus dislikes and all of that. Because I just think it's done. There's nothing I can do about it now we'll just spend time working to the next one and the next one and the next one. So it's just about keeping that, you know, keeping that consistency going with the videos. And we don't look at what everyone else is doing. We just put out the content that we want to make. So we don't, we don't partner up with any brands. We don't, I don't have any sponsors. We don't, we don't, we're not, we don't speak to anybody. But we're if somebody, not, like, like if, if Nike called you and said, hey, yo, we want to put out like the, the, the Ben Parks running shoe edition of the, you know, whatever. The Infinity Ben Parks. In all honesty, yeah. there's no amount of money they could give me. No way, really. They could give me a million US dollars. Come on. And I wouldn't do it because Why I not? enjoy what I'm. I'm trying to build something for the long term, and you can sell, you can sell, out, you can sell out a bit for a, for a good paycheck. But then your the our audience is our most valuable thing, and as soon as you start feeding your audience, this is a sponsored ad. This is gifted. We're getting all this stuff for free. Nike are paying for us to come to New York, or all of that sort of thing. Yeah. I just think your audience just 
we'll just move on to the next person. But if you're genuine and, you know, every, all the gear we review, I just buy myself and this trip is paid for 100% by myself, but really it's paid for by our audience because that's the money that comes in that allows us to do what we do. It's, it, admittedly, it's pretty unique because we see a lot of people out there that do all sorts of sponsorship deals with people and, and I just think you're just not going to be in it for, the, for that sort of long-term thing. You know, I love what I do and I don't want to risk losing it. Now, from there, Ben and I talked about a bunch of other topics, including my favorite moment when I asked him about his girlfriend and partner in crime, Sarah, and this happened. Also, I want to ask you about Sarah. I'll have much more of the interview in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching.